for joining us, uh, Patrick, at uh, IA. We are at the Hella booth here at the show. Yes. Uh, just take us through your new offering here at uh, IA this year. Yeah, so this is our new product range, which we call ShapeLine. And the new part about the ShapeLine is it comes in two different design languages. So we have the dynamic range, classic range. And the important topic about us is that you get a coherent design from the front of the vehicle towards the side and finally then to the back. The idea we had with this was to have customers being able to customize their vehicles with, a, with their own looks. Yes. So through the combination of the different modules, you can create your own vehicle look, your own vehicle design. Still, while being fully equipped with the other range of quality and specification levels that we are very well known of, I think, in the market. So making this a flexible modular product range what's the, the key idea and the key driver for us that we wanted to give to the customers. Uh, what is the way forward? We see Hela coming up with new and innovative lighting systems, you know, from time to time. Yes. What is the way forward in terms of technology when it comes to lighting systems? Well, what we want to improve always is, on the one hand, design, but also making the design very robust. So, what we try to bring always together is the best of both worlds. Being safe, being reliant, robust systems, plus improved lighting. And what we have here is, on the one hand, these very thin micro-optic structure, so that you get a very nice and homogeneous look on the parts, but in the same time you get a very robust product package. It's a fully sealed lamp. It's fulfilling all the IP requirements, high vibration resistance. So that is always we want to have the best of both worlds in regards of these technical aspects to the products. And this is the way we want to drive it forward. Right. And uh, your comment on LED, that's a technology which has probably become a standard in a market like Europe. Yes. And probably it is catching up in developing markets including India. Absolutely. So what, what do you foresee beyond LED technology in a, in a developed market like Europe? Do we see something new coming up? We see, I wouldn't say we see something different to the LED. What we will see is a more diversified application of the LED. So at the very beginning we had reflector optics here where you could see the final LED product and now we are trying more and more to play with the depth of the product with different optics in between them so that we get different effects that we can really utilize the full potential of the D of being a very efficient light source on the one hand but also very flexible when it comes to a design language. So I think we will still stay with LED for quite some time but it will get more diverse in regards of its applications. Probably one last uh, question on safety. So yes. That is very important when it comes to lighting system. Absolutely. And uh, how do you think these new technologies help on the safety front? On design, they're really impressive. On the safety front, where do you think the difference is made? Well, the difference for sure comes from seeing and being seen, obviously. So the light is still a very integral part of being aware that you are on the road and that you have a vehicle. So what we always try is, and what we I think also succeeded with, is the fact that you can clearly see the, the light. We have a very good intensity, and that's not only on the front view, but also at the different viewing angles. So as you move around the light, and as you get behind a vehicle and move closer around it, you still have a very good uh, visual impression of the vehicle that there is a vehicle coming. And I think this is the topic that is one, direction forward. What we also do is the light itself becomes more intelligent. So what we have here with all our direction indicators is the integrated pulse failure control, which has been a hella norm at the beginning, but it's now an ISO norm according to 13207. And so the vehicle manufacturer himself can detect that pulse and can show the vehicle operator my direction indicator is faulty or not. And this is what we think is the way forward so that the system is on the one hand very reliant, very robust, and in case, just in case case there if something goes wrong we are safe because the driver will notice and this is I think the key fact about safety combined with light.